we've been traveling from field to forest, desert to beach with Yesido. We've learned so many things and helped so many birds. Now we get to rest. We've been invited to dinner with some doves who live in the big oak tree. Martha is the nervous type, always trying to make everything perfect. Her sister Mary is more laid back and doesn't sweat the details. They both have beautiful voices. I'm the early bird who gets the worm. Busy every moment once the day is begun. I work and work till the job is done. Ooh, don't be a silly bird and dream the day away. You better wake up, the guests are on their way. If you want it done right, better do it my way. Hey, hey, yeah. When the work is ahead, keep up if you can. You can't do it halfway. Time flies by, there's no room to play. The song, hey, hey, using every moment to enjoy the day. The work I do is a new way to play. Hey, this is my broom to sweep dirty floors. And this is my friend, we dance some more. Amazing, insightful, never to be topped, featherful bird highness, Craig the Hopi. Chirpity chirp, chirp, chirp. Finally, a decent introduction. I like your decorations. For me. Not really. We are having some friends for dinner. Quite festive. I just want to remind you that we Hopis, as leaders of the Kingdom of the Birds, have issued an important edict. What's an edict? It's a law. Oh, my. Read it. <clears throat> chirp, 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 chirp! An official pronouncement. The Royal Council of Hopis, Northern Division, suggests that any friend of Yesado's is not a friend of ours. Chirpity chirp! Why would you suggest that? Charlie? Larry? All birds are welcome in our tree. We doves suggest that you suggest something else. We'll see about that. Come, Charlie. You have been warned. We have been suggested. Let's get ready. But, brother... Don't worry, Martha. It'll be fine. Doves are friends to all. Even the Hopis can't stop that. <sighs> Mary, have you finished cleaning up? Yes. I hope so. I want everything to be perfect. Ah, <sighs> oh, what a lovely sunset. Perfect. Excuse me! Excuse me! Hello! Excuse me! What? I'm hungry. You're always hungry. I know, but that makes me a good guest at a dinner party. I eat anything. Even slippery, slimy salamanders? Or how about electric eels? Psst. Um, maybe I'm not so hungry. Are we there yet? I am getting thirsty. <sighs> 
I want to know what happens at that dinner. Well, sir, I assume that they will have things to eat, possibly some nectar, and... Ugh, they may even wear little party hats, but all I care about is Yesudo. I don't think Yesudo will wear a party hat. Oh, will he be there? No way! Yes way! There is no rule that states that the younger brother sits at the kids' table while the older brother sits with the grown-up birds! Yes, there is! No, there isn't! Afraid so! Then tell me what the rule says. Honor thy brother and mother! That's not how it goes! It's too! It's not! Boys, boys, settle your squabble before you have dinner at the oak tree, okay? I will, when he admits I'm right. Not until you admit you're wrong! Yesida, welcome, my old friend. It has been too long. You forgot to sweep the dining nook. I swept it. You didn't sweep it well enough. We are so honored to be invited. <laughs> Let me show you around our tree. How do they get the flowers to grow like that? They use their talons to weave the stems of the flowers together like a rope. That must take an amazing amount of time and talent. Some of our neighbors, the little sparrow chicks, help me. We sing and it becomes a game. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I wonder if cleaning my nest can become a game. <laughs> Perhaps I can string my twigs and feathers together into a beautiful decoration. <laughs> Perhaps not. And this is the great room. It most certainly is. It's beautiful. I've never seen a table this big. Where did Jacob and Jack go? Oh, they're outside having a little discussion before dinner. There's no need to worry, Martha. I've been working so hard. We know. And the meal is ready. We know. Oh, and the Hopis. And the Hopis don't like my message of kindness, goodness, and help for others. But someday, they will come to accept it as well. We must always try to focus on the good things all around us. And enjoy our time together. Let's all be seated. Let me go check on the boys. I'll lend you a wing. Was this appetizer or dessert? No way! Yes way! It's honor thy father and mother, not brother and mother! Well now, why would it say that? Because that makes sense. And that would mean that I'm not bigger, smarter, and greater than you. My point, exactly! But as an older brother, I have certain rights and privileges. Rights and privileges. <laughs> really? Like what? Like the fact that Yesudo picked me first. He picked both of us at the same time. At the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you boys finished squabbling yet? <gasps> no. You're arguing in front of these little guys. Where's Yesudo? We, we want, want Yesudo. That's a wonderful idea, my young friends, but Yesudo is a very busy bird. Oh, there will be nobody left at the dinner party. We've all come down. Everybody's here. Let the little ones come to me. <laughs> <laughs> to be great, you must humble yourself like little chicks. Easy, no need to worry or be 
get Don't have to know it all To get the problem solved Go on and try it out Little can be so big Don't have to be the best Don't have to beat the rest Go on and let it out Little can be so big Little can be so big Martha and Mary, what a beautiful dinner. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> doing something out of obligation or for praise is never the point, but doing things out of love is what life's all about. Every task we take on should be done with a positive attitude and with love in our hearts, not expecting anything in return. Looks like a great dinner. Nuts, fruits, fish, some worms. Forget the menu. Is Yesodo there? Sorry, sir. I'm getting hungry. It's hard to tell beyond a mountain of foods. Yesodo showed us that what's in your heart is what's most important. If you want to be a great leader, you must be a humble servant. Never stop doing what is right. And whether you're a little chick or a big bird, open your heart and enjoy all the beauty and fun life has to offer.